Good morning everyone, it's another day out here in Nepal and today, like I mentioned yesterday, I need to go back to the Nepal Airlines office to try and get extra baggage sorted but apart from that I don't really see much else going on but we'll see while we're out, I'll probably end up going and getting some food and then I'm back here but we'll see so without further ado, let's get to it Okay, let's go So it's uh, quite overcast today, streets don't seem too busy, but yeah, let's stop and find our way there. Well, what a waste of time that was. I went to Nepal Airlines, they said my flight has been cancelled, so the email I got saying it's cancelled was correct, it was cancelled, but the company booked off my trip.com and said no, it is not cancelled, and then they've said we can't refund your ticket, and then they said we can't add extra baggage on now. We'll rebook it for you, but we can't extra baggage on, you've got to pay for it at the airport. And they're trying to charge me £40 a kilo at the airport, so... Yeah, what a joke that is. Never booked Nepal Airlines, never booked mytrip.com. It is absolute joke. What a waste of time. What an absolute waste of time that was. Okay, so after that catastrophe this morning, calm down a little bit now. Yeah, it's an absolute joke. So, I think it's on the second day that I was here. Went to Nepal Airlines, had extra baggage on, they said they were struggling because of the system and I needed to go back another day. I was like, okay, fair play to them, I'll come back. And then got an email the next day saying that my flight with Nepal Airlines was cancelled and contact them. So I contacted a company that I booked it through, magic.com. They referred me on to another company that they booked it through. And that company said the flight isn't cancelled. So I went about trying to add extra baggage on they couldn't do it, my trip couldn't do it, Nepal Airlines couldn't do it and I've just been back to Nepal Airlines today and they've said to me the flight is cancelled so yeah and when I asked them to refund me they said they couldn't so I need to get in contact with my trip and my trip take up four days to respond so I'm not going to get refunded probably I'm going to have to book through someone else which is a fucking joke but yeah, so then the woman said, oh no, we'll just rebook it for another day. And I was like, I can't, because my visa will expire. That will bring it forward. And I was like, but I don't want to leave it. I want to leave on my date. Everything's sorted for it. But she was like, oh, we'll just, we'll put you with a different airline. And he said, we'll do your Air India. But this guy put, guy's pointed a gun at me. <laughs> One of the security guys at the power bank was just messing around with me, shot you know, whatever the fuck it is. Sorry about my language in a minute. I'm just still worked up from it. Anyway, they said to me, oh yeah, we can put you on a new flight, it's all sorted, but you have to buy your baggage when you get to the airport. And I was like, no, because they charge you up like £40 a kilo. So I was like, yeah, it's not. Because here I need to buy an extra 15 kilos of baggage, it's like, it's not happening. So, yeah, I'm going to have to look at booking more flights when I get back. But, I'm getting food now, so I'm happy. <laughs> what a joke, what an absolute joke. Okay, so a chicken katsu burger. It does look very good. It does look very good. It's a lot better than what I thought it would. Let's give it a try. Nice. Fries are a bit hard, but the burger itself is quite nice. Eating it. Next up is the spring rolls. Smell good. Mm. Not the best ones I've had, but still nice. Get on with eating them and then see where we're going from here. Still not sure yet. It's getting a bit later on in the day now, so I'll probably start heading back. Done a bit of shopping. Tomorrow is probably just going to be a day of get some little last bits, going shopping, uh, getting some souvenirs and stuff, and then Friday is going to be a day getting the bag sorted, getting everything packed, get ready to go to India on Saturday, hopefully, get the flights. But yeah, let's wait and see. Okay, then, guys, so I think that's probably about it for today's video. Sorry, there's not going to be much going on, just being busy trying to get the flight and stuff sorted, and still looking at booking flights now, so hopefully. 
we'll get good on our side. But yeah, as always, the link to my Facebook and my Instagram are in the description. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace.